Hey hey yeah, Nayo here, happy new year and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have weight loss related new year's resolutions so I'm here with yet another clickbait health app and this one's literally called fitness and bodybuilding. It has 5 million downloads, a rating of 4.6 and the screenshots are meh. Let's install it, it needs access to your dick pics and such, cool. The app is 47 megabytes which is bigger than all the other apps on the play store combined. Let's open it and the first thing you see is a ripped meh to make you feel bad that you're fat and unwanted. There's no sign in or anything which I appreciate and at the bottom there's a weird floating action button whose only job is to pull out the weirdly short navigation drawer. Let's check out these ab exercises, incline bench setups. Um, this one needs equipment and that's the thing about this app. You will need equipment for some of the exercises so let's do crunches instead. The app is more useful if you're using it in the gym. Here's a slider with images of what you're supposed to do and if you need to watch someone else do the actual exercise you can tap on the play button and weirdly again instead of taking you to YouTube or something it literally downloads the video itself. But it's not a long video so no big deal. To add on to the weirdness, there's a button at the center of the toolbar that lets you zoom into that IS whenever you want a close-up. If the images and video weren't enough, at the bottom you can read more about this workout. At the top, there's an edit button that lets you add your... Wait, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. This might be the worst user experience for a fitness app I've seen yet because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing in this app or uh, with my life in general. Okay, let's figure this out. There's a date here that shows you a calendar. The weight is your current weight and the repetition is the number of crunches you did. If you have multiple sessions, you can enter multiple times. And the timer at the bottom that's completely blocked by the floating action button lets you set the amount of time you'd like to work out for each round the length of intervals you want between reps, the number of rounds you want to do, and the amount of money you'll pay the guy who invents zero calorie buggers. So you do your workout here, then when you're done you enter your weight and the number of reps you are able to do. Now as you know this channel is one of the most thorough review channels on YouTube, so I'm going to do some crunches and I'll let you know how that goes. Two hours later. Other options available are workouts that lets you plan out weekly exercises you want to do. You can also create custom workouts for yourself and decide what specific exercises you'd like in your workout. You can view the history of your workouts. Story of my life. And then there's more where there's a bunch of links and the settings which lets you change the units, set reminders and they even give you an option to get rid of that weird floating action button they have. The business model for the app is advertising so along with banner ads following you around, full screen ads will occasionally pop up. In general I think ads are just really ugly and hurt the user experience. It's the same thing here and personally the ads would be a huge deterrent for me because I'm pretty sure there are better apps with better business models out there. From my last fitness app video I got a lot of comments asking me if the app actually helped you lose weight and that's the thing it depends on you and how consistent you are. Out of 10 I'll give fitness and bodybuilding a rating of 4.1 because the user interface is really clunky, everything feels, everything feels really weird, the experience kind of sucks, buttons are in weird places and it's not obvious what you're supposed to do to achieve the goals the app has. There are better apps you can use for managing your workouts. Uh, that's it for today, comment, like, subscribe and suggest apps. I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.